Warriors United! Back with another episode of Figure Warriors 2 in the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well. I was working in the yard for a second after work, and I wanted to kind of get one out. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to do one every one day or every couple of days just to catch up a little bit. Some great topics we're going to get to. Let's catch up with a bunch of different uh, shout outs. I'm, I only do about 15 a day because I want to make sure that we keep it short. I know you guys talked about that a lot. But I do want to make sure I recognize you guys for all the great comments, the likes, the donations, things like that. So, um, Halo76, thank you. Savedo, as always. TKO, as always. Chris T. Uh, NAR 1992, how long is enough for SR? We'll talk about that at some point. <clears throat> I think we're all different. Uh, 47 years of problems that I had, it's taken me three years now, and you can see the results. Actually, you can see the difference. If you go back to one of my first videos, you can see the difference in my weight loss and things like that. And a lot of that's because of the retention, but it's been three years. So, I mean, it took me a long time. You young guys, is going to take you a lot shorter period of time, Warriors, uh, but you got to start early, get to a habit. That's a mistake that I made a long time ago. Um, we'll talk about that uh, another video, but Warpath, uh, Buckness, thank you, my friend. Marco, uh, Marco from Port Portugal, thank you. Great, uh, great country. Uh, thanks for uh, joining in. Lego, Lego King is cool. I had to break that down before, and I now recognize what it is. Thank you, Davani. Thank you, Alex Masters, as always. AMZ reviews. Uh, David Wall, Arman Haman, uh, thank you. Uh, lack of masculinity, seem retention. That's what we're going to talk about tonight, my friends. That's a good topic. So our topic tonight, my friends, at the 1 minute 45 second mark is going to be from Spirit Us and from, uh, that was also the comment that made from um, Armand as well. Uh, we're going to talk about lack of masculinity and we're going to talk about what is a masculine man. Also, uh, I think Askosh Path was also asked about uh, also handling people who try to dominate you. So we're going to talk about all of those in the in the uh, thing that we're talking about here. So let's put the light on a little bit here. It's starting to get a little dark. So let's go back, take a step back a little bit. All right. So we talk about energy. Now you you got you may not agree with me here. This is what I'm looking at research and just my viewpoint over the years, my opinion, my humble opinion. I'm going to give you some ideas here that may kind of shake you up a little bit. But as you look at this, it is important to realize that God has given us, your creator has given you the masculine energy. Now, people don't want to talk about it. I ran into somebody today that didn't really want to talk about it. They didn't think, have any thoughts about it. They thought it was other something else attributing to their success or the fact that they were either they were sick and overcoming it or not overcoming it. Um Retention is something that makes logical sense, if you think about it. And this goes back thousands of years. Going back to, we'll even go back to before the Greeks, the Romans, but we'll go back to the uh, medieval alchemists, Pyth Pythagoras, you know the Pythagoras theory, uh, you know, C squared plus A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Those kind of things, when you look at those things, those people that knew that energy could not be created they could not be destroyed. It was transferred, but we're all made of energy. And because of that, you don't want to lose in your energy. You start losing your energy, then you become a, a different person. Now think about that for a second. You start losing energy, you become a different person. So we talk about the masculine male. And you can see this when people start retaining. You can tell a difference when a person retains as not retains. I can see clearly now a lot better than I did other times. You see people who are more, and and and, and Vigor Warrior's wife mentioned to me, saw a picture of me about 10 years ago and mentioned off the cup, you look a little more feminine. And Vigor Warrior's wife was right. When I looked at those old pictures, you see a lot more femininity and it's not bad. Femininity is not bad for females. But what ends up happening, guys, is that when you end up going into losing your energy and you get into a lot of deviant behaviors, all of a sudden now, you start changing who you are. And I fully believe that. And as I see more and more of this stuff, I see a difference between the idea of a masculine male being somebody who is strong and is going to be a male person, but they lose that energy and all of a sudden, now they become more what I call beta. So when we talk about masculine male, 
I'm talking about a person who's keeping their energy, who's using it to transmute it into goals, to provide, to protect. You could tell the difference between people, warriors. You could tell it right off the cuff. And those of you who have been re retaining, you know, you could tell. You could tell a person who's retaining their, their energy. They're a lot more masculine. The voice is deeper than it used to be. They have a lot more strength. I don't care how old you You could be 63 like me. You could be 33. You could be 23. Heck, you could be 13. If you start, if you retain your energy, you are at the most masculine peak you can be. I know Muhammad Gandhi talked about this in his book. He said he had 20 years, as, as uh, I had a lot longer 20 years, of, of sexual you know, indulgence. He still became the person he became even after all that. Imagine if you had none of that. Imagine if you kept doing it as you started in your 20s. A lot of you young warriors started in 20s. Imagine how long you can go and how what you can achieve. But the thing is, is that once you start losing that energy and once we start believing this brainwashed society and all of a sudden, all the profit-making people who are telling you release, 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 you become more feminine. And what do we have in our world today? And I saw this at the high school that I work with. I saw it at the college that I work with. I can't believe the number of males who are not masculine. I can't believe the number of males who have more feminine qualities, at least portraying feminine qualities, than masculine qualities. Now, along with that, you get a lot of deviant behaviors. And you know what those deviant behaviors are. We're not talking about attraction with men and women. When you get into deviant behaviors, you start losing your masculinity. Now, I fully believe that. Now, I'm going to probably get a bunch of kickback on it from people who, who watch this and maybe don't like what we're talking about. But guys, a masculine person should be able <clears throat> to be dominant in his do domain. Because you're masculine. Because you have the energy God has given you. You're not afraid. And that goes to our second question then from Oshkosh. Who's talking about handling people who try to dominate you. You would never be dominated. If you're a masculine male, you can't be dominated. I saw cases today, even at the school. Young women. Dominant over males. Unbelievable. And I asked them, I asked the male. Why you let this happen to you? He's actually scared of her. I said, this is, a, this is an example of people not being masculine. Now, he's a young man. Who knows if he's retained, not retained, but he's obviously too scared to actually deal with the situation. And the women know this. Now, what's happened then as a result of this is women react to men. And women if they see the man is not being masculine, what do they do? They become more masculine. They have to. As a result of the lack, you also have, you always have to have a masculine, feminine person within a relationship. Always have to be. You cannot have too masculine. You can't have too feminine. So someone's got to take the role on. If it's not the male, it's going to be female. And so what happens then is you end up getting a real relationship that really is what I don't believe God intended. And the idea then is when you're looking at this, you're saying to yourself, okay, what's happened here? Well, it's pretty obvious what's happened here. That male has lost their masculinity because they decided to release, get into deviant behaviors. And once you start deviant behaviors, and I know because I wrote an articles on this a long time ago. You look at people who are, you know, serial killers even. They start off by just watching, you know, these images and then they get to high. It's not satisfied and they have to do something else and then they have to do something. Else. They have to get more of a thrill as time goes on. And what happens, they're not satisfied. And now you get into more deviance and more deviance and more deviance. And this becomes an addiction. This is why we talk about the fact that as a high value male, the number one thing you have to do in your life, in my opinion now, and this is 63 years of living is to be able to self-control yourself. Avoid the temptations from the evil one. Avoid the, the sins that we know that the Creator has given us to avoid. And because of that, then, you're going to be able to, to have better control of what's happening. 
You don't have to worry about the alcohol. You don't have to worry about the gambling. You don't have to worry about the overeating. You don't have to worry about the women or the men, depending if you're a woman, man or woman. You can then go and have your life, but every time you're looking at temptation, you're strong enough because you're holding your energy in. You are at full strength. We talk about you know a hockey game where the people are, you know, get power play. They're full strength. They got all the players out there. You're at full strength when you have your energy. If you start losing your energy and you lose it a lot and you, you get abuse it, you're becoming more decrepit. As a, as, a re, as a result of that, you become more feminine. And as a result of that, you start losing control relationships and all kinds of stuff. And I know I've been there. So I understand what happens when you, you think you're doing what your society wants you to do to be healthy. But in the long run, it's the opposite. And I know we had some examples, and I'll talk about this a little bit, of uh, people talking about the, the health problems with retention and those type of things. Well, again, look at the history of the world. You got people, and as, as an example, I can't, uh, I know someone had mentioned this. I'm actually going to go talk about, there's several people that we can kind of focus on. I should have done this. I used to do this. I'll do this more now. Go to historical figures who actually did this from like Beethoven and Tesla. And uh, uh, we can go down the line several times. Einstein, everybody. People who are achieving a lot, they're doing retention. And they didn't die of all these diseases. Prostrate, all these type of things. They didn't die of these type of things because they were focused. They focused in using that energy to focus on goals, achieving things, achieving inventions, achieving, uh, saving the world, doing those things to try to help people. They use their energy instead of trying to, uh, you know, chasing women around and releasing to pictures and to bed sheets and all kinds of stuff. What they're doing is using it to make a difference in this world. And you guys, all your warriors can do this. This is why we talk about the 1% Club. A lot of people think this is bull, bull BS, right? They think, oh, this is no man. You go back and look at thousands of years they've been doing this. This is not a new concept. This is an idea that God's given to us. And the creator, anytime you look at any kind of religious text, it talks about the fact you should not be releasing unless you're trying to have a child. But we talked about this in a previous video. Death by masturbation. Right? You are releasing the, the, the people who are releasing are releasing for the next generation. They're going to pass on so they know. But that's the only time you're releasing. Now all of these other types is for pleasure. And that's when you get into the dangerous part of it. Now I'm not saying releasing one time or so is going to be detrimental to your health forever but it leads you down the wrong path and then that will hurt you over time and you see it many examples out there and the biggest example of this is the femininity even if you only do it a few times once in a while you end up becoming more feminine and you could just look at people you walk down the street and you could see people you could probably imagine what they're doing because you sense it you sense that that idea so, spiritualists, when we talk about what is a masculine male, we talk about the fact that a masculine male is somebody who has self-control of themselves, who is able to focus on not women, not all the pleasures, not these short-term gratification pleasures. They're focusing on getting things done, achieving goals, and the major goals that we have in society, men, now, I'm not talking about women right now. I'm talking about the men. Is protecting and providing. How in the heck can you even protect anybody? I don't care if it's city, state, family, anybody. With all that feminine qualities you have. Now, I'm not saying feminine qualities are wrong. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of... Fem women are wonderful. But in the right perspective. And there's, there's, there's women nowadays who can beat up a lot of men. There's no doubt about that. But that's not the way it should be. Obviously, some women, are, women are equal to men. There's no doubt about it, but in different ways. But what we're talking about here, we're talking about men's role in protecting. And they cannot be feminine when they're protecting. 
They need to be masculine. And you can't be losing your energy because you become more feminine as time goes on. And all you got to do is look at that. And then eventually you start losing so much energy, you become decrepit and you start destroying yourself. This is why they used to call this the uh, idea of self-abuse in masturbation. And continence was something that was the word used instead of semen retention. Just something that still is used in certain parts of the country. Having continence is what Gandhi talked about. Having continence is Malcolm X talked about. All these people, Pythagoras, you know, going back to Beethoven. A lot of these people, they were able to achieve a lot because they did not release. They only released when they had to release to, to, to want to have children. I mean, God is not intending us to use this as a pleasurable experience. Now, I know in this world, this is what they're telling you. But I can tell you from my humble experience for 63 years that that, in my opinion, is all wrong. And what is right is that you're keeping your energy and you're using it to achieve things. And there's also something, and we'll talk about this maybe in a later video, about how you can actually use the benefits of semen retention once you transmute it to get yourself healed. Now, I'm doing a lot more research on regeneration here, but I could tell you that I have not been sick in many years, even through all that pandemic stuff and everything. We talked that you can go back and look at a lot of the videos, right? I may have a sniffles at a time, a cough at a time. That's about it. That's all I usually get. Because when it's happening is that I have a system to fighting it. Now, I had 47 years of issues. So here's the deal. My opinion, if you have 47 years, it's going to take you more than two weeks of retention or three weeks. So when somebody asks how long you should be on retention before you see benefits, well, it depends on how long you had problems. I had problems for 47 years. So it took me a while to kind of get those benefits. Now, after three years, I'm now seeing the benefits as you guys can see, as you guys see the difference in, in how I look compared to the way I looked before. And a lot of that is because I'm still, my system's still getting used to the new me that I decided to get rid of the old feminine me before. And that's when you become a warrior. And this is why we talk about bigger warriors getting stronger every day. And the goal is to better yourself by 1% every day you can in something. Whether it's working out spiritually, uh, weight loss, uh, exercising, school, school if you're in school, work if you're in work, relationships, whatever it may be. Every day you're benefiting yourself. And this is why we talk about every day is a new day to a great warrior. It's a day to get better and better. High value, more high value as time goes on. And all of a sudden you'll be out of the marketplace and people will demand you. Women will demand you. Men will demand you for things and jobs and relationships, things like that. And now you have the ability to be successful in things you want to be with. And now you have the control of that. And that makes a big difference. So in summary, my friends, and Spiris and he asks a good question. So does uh, Akash. I appreciate that a lot. The question you guys are asking is a very poignant one. What is a masculine man we're talking about? What is a masculine man? And again, in summary, my friends, a masculine man is a person who can control themselves, be able to use that energy they have, not be chasing women around, having full control of that power to do the things God wants them to do. In fact, the biggest two things in my mind is to prevent, protect, protect the family, protect the, the town, protect the, the world, protect the, the United States or whatever country you're in and protect and then provide. Being able to get out there and produce, produce things to make this world a better place for people. Not to sit there and just kind of take everything yourself and take whatever you can and the heck with other people. That becomes another attitude of the person who's not retaining. They become very selfish. They're more interested in their own satisfaction and pleasure than they are for the overall picture that God has. And you see people who are moving more to retaining. You see them also moving towards God. And this is why we do this. This is why I'm doing this over 20, 12 years. I'm trying to get closer to God. That's the reason I'm doing it. And that's the only reason I'm doing it. The flattering, everything else, the benefits are great. Don't get me wrong. But the reason I want to do this is because I want to get spiritually closer to God. And I believe that is what's happening. It's going to take some time because I had a lot of bad years, as I said. But it takes time. 
to overcome. It's almost like getting all that bad alcohol out of your system. It takes time to do that if you've been drinking for 47 years. You got to start somewhere, bud, and you got to take it one day at a time. So you guys are taking one day at a time. You're 15 days, 30 days, 20 days, <clears throat> 100 days. Keep going. Get better each time. If you fall off the track, go back. I can't tell you the number of times I fell off the track in the 47 years and <clears throat> no fab. And I can't tell you the number of times that monk mode has been problems. But the next day you go back and you start again. And eventually you'll build yourself up and you'll learn how to do it. And again, the second thing that we talk about, Akash, talking about how to handle people who dominate you. Don't let them dominate you, first of all. Change the topic. Move ahead. Ignore those people. If you can't ignore them <clears throat> and, and you have to defend yourself, then you defend yourself. But the bottom line is you should not have to use violence. You should be able to deal with the situation because of your confidence level and your strength and your ability to, to be strong masculine male. People will not dominate you if that's the case. Now, if somebody's jealous of you and they're upset with you, then uh, there's no, no reason, there's no way you're going to win that situation because they're going to have the jealousy no matter what. The thing I would recommend is to try to don't waste your time on people who are not going to build you up. And that's another video we're going to do. Do not waste your time on people who don't help you. Spend time. Get rid of those people. Spend time, women especially, with women who are going to help you, make you feel better about yourself, and get yourself to the point where you can succeed more. Find those people. Don't, don't waste your time on people who are going to drag you down. Because that's going to be another one of those things that the evil one's going to get to you and get that way. So, all right. I enjoyed this topic. I hope you guys did as well. Thank you guys, uh, Spiritus and Ashkash. Uh, thank you guys. We're going to talk about overcoming addictions the next time and uh, kind of then move into controlling your semen retention and we'll kind of move on from there. But always, my friends, I hope you guys have a good rest of the evening. And two things I leave you with. One, every day is a new day to a great war because every day you should be shooting for 1% better than you were today. And the second thing, my friend, is that we know that it's a continual war. A war, war, war. And the reason I yell and the reason I scream at times is because we need to wake some of those people up out there. Don't listen to these people out there that are telling you to become weaker and weaker and weaker and release all the time. Be strong. Try it yourself and figure out what's really happening out there. And you'll find out that a lot of the things that people are saying to you may not be correct. So because of that, we've got to continue to be always on guard and we always have to continue to fight to the end. And that's why I always say, Bella! Good night, my friends. God bless.